Hi, today we're going to be unboxing the Unite Split Up series. New 300, mass velocity 330 feet per second, dual power cotton mouth AK 47. Oh, yeah, this is the AK 47 from the Unite Company in their Split Up series line. So, yeah. But it says mass velocity 330 feet. Per second. 780 RPM, semi auto or full auto. Rechargeable battery, 7.2 volt lithium ion battery and charger. Pullback bolt for spring action shooting. High capacity, 510 round magazine. Spring powered and gear powered. Swing in stock. So pull back bolt for spring action shooting, just hop up for increased distance and accuracy. 300 to 330 feet per second velocity, 12 gram BBs, designed for 6 millimeter BBs adjusted, use 12 gram, high compact, high capacity 510 round magazine, both 100, bonus, 100 BBs included, so they're starting off with 100 BBs, and hey, that's pretty nice. It's not like, hey, you buy a gun, you gotta buy the BBs. They are getting some BBs to test it out. So, while the bots for this little unboxing demonstration review, we get some BBs to play around with. Mental systems and gear. Dual power rifle for increased performance and velocity. Very power and swing action. Swing and start. Position shooting. Adjustable short and long range sight. 6.12mm caliber metal barrel. And then, uh, high quality batteries, you charge with lithium on battery pad, 9 volt charge included, bat load compartment for easy battery access. Wow, that was a mouthful. I have to catch my breath. Whew. So yeah, let's get this unbox here. Actually, let's start off over here. And then... There we go. So it comes in a nice little tray. Here's what the gun looks like. So, the warranty thing. A little thing of the guns that they sell, like, you know, these are the BB pellet guns for the copper and steel BBs. You know, the, the Black Ops sniper air rifle, which looks like it has a mod suppressor on there, probably. Then you have the Black Ops Junior sniper rifle. Uh, the uh, steel BB Wolverine pistol. The BB Air Sterinator Revolver. That gun looks cool, but it has a really long bid revolver to it. I mean, bid barrel on it. So this one, the barrel is ridiculously, ridiculously long for a gun. Yeah. There's the No Wicked Gel Target, which, if you've already seen it, the unboxing video of that one that I did. There's the Auto Reset Target, I'm looking forward to getting that. There's, you know, the, uh, there we go, combat paper tarts, which I'm not going to buy. I mean, the parents look really cool and all, but they're paper, one-time use, that's it. I'm not buying them. There's the two, 20 gram, 6 millimeter, 10,000 count biodegradable ammo, or you can get the same thing, 20 gram, 6 millimeter, but uh, 200, I mean, 2,000 count biodegradable ammo, and there's the Airsoft Seat and Destroy Justice Dealer RC. Seems great, but uh, I wouldn't get this one. Just because, you know, you probably have to see what's in front of you, and I would have the gun instead of the RC. And then on back here, there is the uh, Tactical M4 Viper Assault Rifle. 
it is completely different from my original one. My original one is like the M16A2 Carbine version 2 Vietnam assault rifle. This one's a different one because this one has actually four free road free folding rail mount systems four I mean five well four on the handguard and one for the scope then you had the AK-74 I don't know why it's not showing too good there we go AK-74 Sidewinder assault rifle and the uh, dual power cotton mouth AK-74 so it is two variations of the AK-74s there's the full metal 1911 Scorpion pistol. There is the tactical Wolverine pistol. There is two versions of this tactical Wolverine pistol. There is the one over here underlying the blue, which could fire steel, copper BBs, and uh, pellets. And then there is this one over here in the green section that uh, fires just plastic BBs. There is the uh, 1911 tactical combat pistol. Combat kit would not buy it. It's spring powered. It might work because you know it's blast and it's made from the night coming, which has great price. But I just don't trust spring guns at all. They have the 2.5 inch exterminator revolver, a little bit smaller one, and then the Bar Ops Boad or BOA assault pistol. Then here's the owner manual. I'll do it. All the things, the sights and stuff, muzzle blade, how to install the battery, how to load the magazine, how to select from safety position, semi auto, semi and full auto, and how to use the manual spring, how to adjust the sight and use the stock, how to get into the gearbox to adjust the hopper. How to clean the gun. You know, all basic stuff. So, we really don't need to see that. Here's the magazine. Now, do note, the magazine on this gun is completely made out of plastic. Yeah, I mean, on this gun over here, the magazine is made out of metal. And no, you cannot change and chase the magazines because they have different lot in mechanism. This one has a side release, so it's gonna snap in and lock to the side. This one has a back release. So I know if you're saying, well, now that you have two guns, can and both of them are assault rifles technically, can you use you know the different magazines? Go for like a 500 round to a 510 round or something like that. No. This magazine is only made for the AK-74 or the Auto collision cough. If you didn't know what AK stands for, AK stands for auto collision cough. He was a German soldier, I believe. Yeah, a German soldier. His name was Auto Collision Cough. He said, "Hey, we need new guns, better guns, guns that's actually going to kill and be effective on the battlefield." So he designed this gun, the Auto Collision Cough. So here's our battery. Here's the box of the BBs, battery charger, and what's cool about this one, it actually has an indicator light on it to tell you when the battery is fully charged on the battery charger, which is really nice. So let's get this out of the way. Here's the AK-74, the auto collision cough. So this is in compact compact mode with the stock folded and then you could unfold the stock to make it into a full auto not full auto but you know big stabilized assault rifle so when you have it on full auto so you know pretty much if you want to film it you can almost film it like a dual assault rifle slash MSG or a submachine gun so submachine gun slash assault rifle when the stats fold up, it looks a little bit more, so they have more compact, so when you're getting between corners or going down corridors and looking to doorways, you could move it around a little bit easier like a submachine gun. 
But if you like shoot out windows and stuff, or like out of buildings, you could bring the stop, make it into a full length for assault rifle, for assault rifle mode. So here's a little bat area. You just, I don't know how going can you can see it, but there is a little button here. You push that button in, the front slides up like that. You can take your battery, slide it in. Supposed to slide in, I believe, or snap in. Okay, come on. It snaps in. So it's just a little snappy one. Now that we got that connected, we can kind of slide it up a little bit more just to kind of get things out of the way. But bring this down. Okay, come on. So, there we go. It's a little hard at first to get it in because you got to line where the cord for the batteries go. But now that that's in, and yes, there is a little safety port on here. So do be aware to take this port out. Let's open up the magazine. Flip top. Let's open it up. Here's the BBs that they give you. Uh, I kind of have a problem that it does a lot. I wish that they had a little lot of mechanism so it could lock so you could get the beauties in easier. It doesn't. It does have a crank up wheel on the bottom to crank the BBs up to the top. I don't know how good you can see it, but. One starting to come up to the top already. You just gotta keep cranking it, cranking it, cranking it. I guess it's fully cranked. To load it, you load it how you think you will load it. Main thing goes to the bat. So you kind of side load it. Almost. Let's get a tornado up here. So, uh, I have it in the collapse mode for the stop. Here's the safety. See, so you know, there's full auto and semi auto. So, all made from safety, you're having full auto. Pull it down again, semi auto, and here is the spring handle, which is actually made out of metal. I wish that the selector switch here would be made out of metal, it's made out of plastic, thin plastic. That's probably my major concern right there. So we'll put it on semi auto. Oh, let me get the, target, the camera up so we can see it. Okay.
So there it is in semi-auto. Let me put it to full auto. Wow! Wow! That, that is awesome. That is great. I mean, the way of fire that's going, and the sound, it sounds like a sub-machine gun. That, do, 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 do. Not that like, do, 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 do. A saw rifle sound. But like that, do, 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 do. Some machine gun sound. Whoa. And as you can see, it actually has enough power to crack open a BB. Like here. Here is that BB that cracked open. It actually split it almost in half. Wow. Wow. I'm in love with this gun. I mean, something that's small, compact, mobile for the battlefield. Instead, it came out a big assault rifle. Oh, yeah. And now we're just going to use the uh, spring action. Spring doesn't go back that much, but you can tell when it's done. And this is for a single shot. So, spring is just like semi shot stuff. After you pull a trigger, you pull a trigger again. Nothing's going to happen until you grab that spring and pull it back again. So feel a bit like a uh, cheaper downgrade version of semi shot. This thing's got a semi shot right here. So when you start to semi shot, pull the trigger, BB comes out. Pull the trigger, BB comes out. But if you're using it as a spring powered, when you pull the spring back, one shot. Pull the trigger, nothing happens until you pull the spring back. Then another shot. So I mean, it shoots, but it doesn't have that force of power. It's meant for like, probably in situations where you only have like maybe 5 or 10 BBs left in your magazine, you're in a corner, you're pinned down, so you're going to use it kind of like a shotgun, the way how you're probably going to be carrying it, but it has more power about maybe a spoon action pistol. Okay, now let me flip up the stock. So stock. And there is a little release level on here. For the start, so there's the start. You push the one over here back to you, and stock comes back. I know you think this would be the lower to release it, but no, it's actually on this side, this little button there, and then you can pull your stock, and it automatically snaps in place. And there is a certain loop mount up here, I don't know how good you can see it, but there is one up here. And then, obviously on the back here, you can see. So you could attach the strap to it if you wanted to. Here is the sight, the front sight. Here is the back sight. It's just a flip down. So. This is for uh, close range engagements. Long range engagement. I'm going to have it set up to a uh, semi. So every time I pull it, so let's actually go with spring. Spring, semi. Oh, I gotta clean some more BBs in here. Give me a second. There we go. Full auto. Wow, full auto is actually snapping the BBs in half. I mean, that is not the first one that got snapped in half. That was the other one, and if we actually look at the target a little bit closer, look, there's half of one right there. Look at this one, it got completely destroyed. Boom, a piece there, 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 and there. So this gun's actually packed on some power. When you see it, you may be like, ah, oh, it's not packed that much power, but the way it fires is pretty good in full auto, but as you can see, it's splitting those BBs. Like, here's one that's got split open. So, it, it's a BB destroyer. So you know it's going to be worked in for you. So yeah, here's how the gun kind of looks in, uh, with the stock out. So let me just collapse the stop for a second here. Just to get a little bit more room under my table. 
because I'm running out of room here. <laughs> But, oh yeah, definitely, this bad boy is, can definitely take the hits. It's got all the power that you need. So here's everything that you got in the kit. You know, the gun, the charger, the safety, little danger insert into your barrel. The box of BBs, your manual. Uh, the barrel is already pre inserted in the gun. So I'm not going to, you know, take that out to show you all the stuff that you got. But, yeah. Even a free 100 round BBs did it give you, which is nice because most companies don't give you that much or some don't even give you BBs at all. But I know most companies do give you BBs. These are really great. So yeah, that has been the unboxing review video of the Unites Black Ops series new dual powered Kaimuff AK-74. Remember to rate, subscribe, and leave a comment. Alright, thanks, bye.